Okay, here we are on November 2nd, Saturday, 2024. Just a few more days until the election, which is on the 5th, Tuesday. Um, the 4th, they have a special concert um, at Eakins Oval, which is in front of the art museum. Like, yo, Adrian, you know, the rocky steps and everything. Um, I wound up, I'm sure a lot of people were on the list. What was that in there? Um, I am like look alike here. Um, I'm cold, I see dead people, so. <laughs> anyway, uh, but I'm slightly kidding, but uh, I'm told people have people, so that might have been one of those people. So, anyway, um, a lot of people got an invite, it seems, to join in with a concert on Monday night at the Eakins Oval and you could share it with other people. I also got a text yesterday about Michelle Obama and Alicia Keys being up in Norristown today for a different event to rally people there. Now that's today, Saturday. Um, I RSVP'd that I would go to the concert on Monday. It's free, it's just, I think they wanna get an estimated head count, even though it's more like open. I don't know that you really have to have a ticket, you know, so anyway, they send something to your inbox saying, you know, you're, in, you're on the list or whatever to show up. So, um, this way? Uh, so anyway, I, um, I'm still deciding how or when I'll go, um, at 17th street there. I live down that street. And, um, so, I'll decide, that's from 5 to 9 on Monday, I will decide depending on what's going on that day, other people are showing Washington DC, getting geared up, you know, everybody activated for a potential civil unrest or whatever reaction will occur uh, based on the voting on Tuesday into Monday. So who knows what'll happen. My um, feeling is that it's been quiet in general in regards to say protests or movements. In the past really, you know, remember the years when they had Occupy Philly, Occupy Seattle, Occupy? <laughs> That's what I remember. None of that is going on. So it would just be like, say Kamala <laughs> won, them. Um, so say Kamala won and see how I was interrupted because someone, he was told to do it, okay, he's totally interrupted, okay. Um, so if she were to win, I'm sure it would be like the World Series, like everybody flocks to Broad Street or similar and it becomes a, a show of support, just like when Obama won, the streets of Philly were packed. I will say though, there was a whole climate back in you know 2008 also the world series <laughs> that's interesting because the world series and obama were in the same year um 2008 so 1980 2008 those are the two years that phillies won the world series and it just so happened to also be the election year how about that so there was twice when people took to broad street in mass as crowds um so i don't know what to say it's hard to tell the population here is has thinned out it's there's less people I think but you know if there was something historical that were to happen then I'm sure people would take to the streets just like if we were in the playoffs for football or they did get large crowds when we won the playoffs for the Eagles for the whatever 57th Super Bowl was that they didn't win the Super Bowl but they made it to the Super Bowl I think um, of course, we won the 52nd Super Bowl, and so on and so on. So anyway, I'm walking west on Chestnut here, headed towards 19th. I started from my apartment south of Chestnut on 17th. Myrtle Beach, right, Fertile Myrtle, and so on and so on. Brett and Link, but right. Um, so there's Good Mythical Morning. Um, you should check them out if you haven't found them already. This is a major YouTube channel and they grew up in Myrtle Beach. 
and sometimes Link will do a special show with his, I guess it's a regular show with his dad, not this, right, Dispatches from Myrtle Beach. There's another one they do that's called Ear Biscuits and that's Rhett and Link together on a special segment of Good Mythical Morning, I guess it's sort of a branch off. Keep going straight, okay. So, anyway, here's Jenny's ice cream. When they're open, it always smells incredibly sweet in there. They do have a good vegan flavor. It's Texas sheet cake. <laughs> um, of course, right across from Target. <sighs> Devil's Alley, or, oh, oh. I didn't know this was Pearl Properties. Um, that makes sense. <laughs> So there's like the Devil's Alley is Pearl Properties. Pearl Properties owns a lot of properties. They own the Target property and Kafar. The whole block over there is probably Pearl. There's Bankroll. This used to be a theater and now it's some sort of, I have to look it up again. It's like a sports restaurant. It's just a restaurant. I have to look it up again. <laughs> I guess people go there. I have no, I haven't seen like, I don't know if they're open on certain nights only or what have you. So. Another building, 1920. They have the black and white Sephora stripes in their foyer. Um, I've never seen anyone, maybe once I've seen someone go in there, but whenever I see Sephora, I see jail. So um, it's the same stripes and you know, that's all I see. So. No, it wasn't a long time. Oh, what's going on here? So they're doing plastic on, were their windows broken out or are they just putting up, oh they're doing a paint job here at Old Nelson. So I guess they're uh, doing a paint job. Is that the person who looks like one of my clients but works at Mom's? Uh, a paint job here at Old Nelson or what have you. Um, we're across from Dunkin Donuts and I'm going to go north here on 21st, I guess, or 20th, where am I? All right, 17 goes south, so 18 north, so 20th. Hangry Joe's or Angry Joe's. And someone was dressed up as a chicken for on Halloween for the Halloween parade in, at the White House. And so anyway, yeah, nuts to you. You get it already? Drive someone nuts and angry, they go hand in hand. Pearl Property's good at that. They're really good at that. Or the people who will gravitate towards pro properties. I didn't really gravitate towards them. I live in a building that's owned and managed by pro properties. It's more of a charity case. <laughs> it's more like I rented from them years ago in a much smaller building um, above Dirty Frank's Pine View Apartments, which is now owned and operated by someone else, Renzi uh, Properties. Oh, Topside Tavern. Oh, it's Eagles. Um, this used to be like Farmer's Keep, which we always called Farmer's Creep for some reason. <laughs> so anyway, um, and I wound up sort of in a jam and I wasn't sure what to do. And I was desperate when I came back to Philadelphia. I didn't know where to get an apartment and all that stuff. I had to do it in a hurry. 